If you're looking for info on DJ equipment, PA equipment, some of the very latest high-tech gear, as well as some great tried and tested budget equipment. Also, there's some info on cables, the odd software advice, headphones, DJ controllers, projectors and other visuals, studio monitors, the odd turntable, microphones, lighting. Please do like and subscribe and look at the uploads on my channel as there just might be something of interest just for you. Traveling on an airline with headphones, using the Bluetooth or the cable that comes with the headphones. Which is better? It might be obvious to some, but not to all. The last time I went on an airline was 2019, December. And since then, as we all know, lockdown, pandemic, I think I would have fitted in quite a few miles of travel. I've heard of too many stories of people just about to travel and they proved to be positive and they couldn't travel. So I thought, I'm not going to even bother until things are really calmed down, quietened down, and they were as near as normal as they could be. So I decided to travel during Christmas and New Year. Back now and since then, I decided to use my Mark Levinson 5909s on an airline. Headphones have never been part of my holiday luggage. I have never, ever brought my own headphones on an airline before because it's not that often that I'm on an airline. I've usually used the headphones that are provided on the airline and never really had an adapter to connect any other headphones. Sitting on the seat in the airline and you know, you play around with the screen and what have you. And then I realized there was Bluetooth pairing. I had never noticed this before. Always plugged in those nasty headphones that you get to listen to what I needed to listen to. So seeing the Bluetooth connection capability, dream come true. So I paired mine up, which was very easy, to my seat, and I could listen to albums that I wanted to listen to, watched a couple of movies with excellent sound quality for the first time. The sound from the headphones is fantastic. Great connection, rock solid. I could even walk to the toilets, and I still had connection. Looking a bit weird walking to the toilets with headphones on, but I wasn't about to leave headphones of this price on a seat. I'm not saying the person beside me would have taken them, but keep them on my head. And I could even listen to the music I was listening to, queuing for the toilet. Got back to my seat, watched the movie, Chernobyl, before my time, but I thought I'd try it out. Great watch, I recommend it, although I wasn't too pleased with the fact that everybody was speaking in English. Russian actors or Russian accents would have made it a lot more realistic. Back to the headphones. The sound through the 5909 is connected to the airline's Bluetooth could not be happier. I'm in my seat listening to my nice, comfortable headphones, listening to them with that quality and that clarity, making the travel a lot more bearable and a lot more comfortable. I was pleased with the sound quality that I was getting from the Bluetooth connection, so no need to do anything else, but I'm sitting in a seat, can't really go anywhere. I don't need to be moving around your airplane. You're really in your seat for most of your travel. So I thought what I do is try the cable provided. This is the first time I've used the cable, let alone the adapter that is used to plug in to the screen. So for the very first time, I was using the cables from my headphones. And for the very first time using the airline adapter, plug that in, wow. Anybody that has these headphones and has an Android device and you're listening to music through Bluetooth and you listen to it normal, wonderful sound. You flick it into LDAC, Jesus Christ. The set, you can tell immediately. The difference is immediate. You don't have to concentrate and, you know, and try and work out what sounds better. When I plugged my headphones into the seat, different pair of headphones, everything sounded totally different. Hard to explain, but everything was better. Detail, clarity, imagery, the imagery of the sound in those movies, everything was so much better to the point that I was not interested in using Bluetooth anymore. And I was thinking I wasted so much of my flight listening to these through Bluetooth. 
I know it's nice to have the flexibility and freedom using Bluetooth, but compared to connecting these headphones via its cables to your in-seat entertainment, sounded like a totally different pair of headphones. Everything was wow. The ANC is incredible as well, because when you're on an airline, for the first half hour, just in the beginning of their flight, and there's quite a lot of movement around the airplane, people going to the toilet, maybe getting things out of the overhead luggage, maybe having a brief conversation with the stranger that they're sitting next to. So it gets quite noisy at the beginning. And this is what it generally sounds like. Sometime later into the flight, when it's silent, there's not much conversation going on. You're hearing all the sounds of the airline. You're getting this big hiss and quite a high hum, which is maybe the ventilation system or the engines. And obviously all that wind noise from outside the airline. And this is what it sounds like. Using the ANC, it works a dream when it comes to cutting out all of these noises. So if you have these headphones, or if you have any headphones that are Bluetooth or can be wired up, well, I can't speak for any other headphones, but if you have 5909s and you're on an airline, try both, but I'm telling you, use the cable. Cables, using those cables, using that adapter provided, you cannot go wrong enjoying that flight. Few more headphone uploads to come. I'm going a bit crazy when it comes to Bluetooth headphones. I've just purchased these. And I've also got the Solitaire T's coming, which I've purchased. Can't wait to test those out. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.